fellow countrymen, the blood of Mr. Sama the late and Mr. Kaunda the late must not be wasted. We stand, of course, in mourning with the families that have lost the beloved ones. But we want to make a comment on the changes that the president has made in the police service. First of all, we commend him for acknowledging the fact that we do have a crisis in our police service. If we didn't have a crisis, the president would have not made any changes at all. So that very act of trying to reorganize the police service is an admittance that there is a problem at the police uh, headquarters. But we also want to be quick to mention that while we have no power on the choices that the president makes because there's constitutional authority to appoint anyone that he feels can play that role. The movement for multi-party democracy wishes to put its position on record that we want to make it extremely clear that in our view, from the history we have about the three major people that have been reshuffled, um, two, uh, two major people that have been reshuffled, the deputy IGs, and the six months extension that has been given to, to the IG, and the two commissioners that have been brought in to become deputy IGs, this is our position. The whole idea of making changes at the police headquarters was to remove this shedding of blood of innocent people. It is true that under the hand of the current IG, Mr. Kanganja, we have seen more political bloodshed under his watch than any other IG in history. Therefore, we have a question as to how he is expected to raise the confidence of the police service when on his hands he has more blood of the innocent Zambians than any other IG. It beats our thinking and we think that this decision to keep him there until the election undermines any possibility of an election that could be free and fair and without interference from the police. We disagree with the fact that he has been looked at as a person who can reconstruct the confidence of the police. Secondly, we do have concerns about the two IGs, that two deputy IGs that have been removed. First of all, we do not speak for them to defend them. But we think from the professional point of view, these are two people that tried to stand for what was right. The last words that DIG Capeso said concern the PF cutters, whom he challenged to the face, that if you want my job, come and get it. Since you want to control us, you want to tell us what to do, come and get our job. And I can go back home and work from there. That was the last sentence. And there is an assumption that that could have cost him his job. And we would like to say in closing that the replacement of the two deputy IGs constitutes what we could call a death squad moving forward towards the election. Madam Katanga is a well-known officer who has made it extremely complicated for the opposition to have meetings on the Copper Belt. That's a known fact. I cannot speak for the other man, but I know that we are creating a squad that will make it extremely complicated for the elections to be free and fair. And we would like the president to look into it. We think that he has the right to appoint whosoever he wills, but we also have the right to mention that he has now just managed to constitute a death squad. We are not safe under the three that have been assembled. And we ask the president to rethink concerning the new team that he has put in place to lead us towards the election. I thank you.